All right, Shalom. <clears throat> First and foremost, we're going to start by giving all praise, honor, and glory and to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rachak, Rodash. One send double honors to our elders and apostles, that great millstone that rule well. Peace, love, and salutations always to the hopeful elect scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, teaching this word in sincerity and in truth, which consists of you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You are the true children of Israel, according to the Holy Scriptures. This is the brother you call Amath, and I'm with him here with the brother. Yatazar Ba. All right, from Nebraska camp, and we're coming back with another lesson through the Spirit and Power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah Harakak which is the Holy Spirit that enables us to teach this truth. And you no, know, just, just to get straight to it, man, our our time to run uh, to reign is coming soon, okay? Because it says in the book of uh, which we're going to get here. You know, I'm not going to jump the gun. Lord willing, this is edifying. And um, hey, with that being said, we're just going to get straight into it, man. All right, so you start from the top, brother, but we're shot. Second Edges, chapter 6, verse 1. And he said unto me in the beginning when the earth was made, before the borders of the world stood or ever the winds blew, before it thundered and lightened and lightning, or ever the foundations of paradise were laid, before the fair flowers were seen or ever the movable powers were established, before the innumerable multitude of angels were gathered together, or ever the heights of the air were lifted up, before the measures of the firmament were named, or ever the chimneys in, in Sion were hot, mm -hmm. and and ere the, pre the present years were sought out, and or ever the, the inventions of them that now sin were turned. So the, the whole point that I want the brother to read this entire, entire rip for is because, as it says in the book, I believe, of uh, Ephesians, it says that we, we were predestinated before the world began. So this is just given a little bit more specific that before anything was, we were that chosen people. We are that people that's going to come out on the top at the end, mm -hmm. you know, and hey, we're going to get into it, man, because you see how this kingdom is, this kingdom is slowly crumbling. This COVID-19 pandemic, you know, is, is, is bringing on um, many different prophecies, you know, is bringing on the RFID chip, you know, as they had a video that they posted, um, I believe in the, um, in Oklahoma, you know, where they were going to bring in, they want to pretty much set up military checkpoints to where people can't leave. And if you're going to leave, if you, if, you know what I'm saying? This is Esau Eden we're dealing with. So you got to, you got to deal with the, the logic. If you're able to leave, you have to prove by paper or some type of way that you have been vaccinated. All right. They're doing mandatory vaccination. And they said, this thing is going to be on a, on a nationwide scale, you know, as far as the information that I receive is going to be on a nationwide scale, okay? Which is, and, and, and they said they're going to have bracelets for people, and on top of that is going to be an RFID chip technology, which holds all your uh, your information, which is slowly but surely ushering in that, that RFID chip being implanted, uh, being that implantable device, as it says in the book of Revelation, okay? Now, we don't know for sure, <laughs> but they... Um, you know, through the spirit, man, I believe they're already doing that in China, man. You know, they have a video showing that they're starting to open up uh, more places. And in order to get in certain places, they're scanning people's hands. So through the spirit, we believe that they, they're they um, microchipping the people over there, man. You know, that's one prophecy. Another mm -hmm. prophecy is that one world order, man. You know, um, you have that. Um, what, what else do they have? R pretty much the Georgia Guidestone. Um, the Georgia guy in stone, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, agenda that Esau Edom, which is uh, the so called white man, today's Caucasians, that they're pushing is to um, minimize population so that it's easier to control. And that's what the, the Georgia guy in stone says. I believe it says like uh, five, 500 million people that they want to kill off so it's easier to control the population of the people. Okay. So these the, the, things are our, our time is coming, man. Yeah, how about Shimao Shai? And whether this is whether this is a, a hoax or not, you know the the reactions are real. You know the things that are happening are real. They're shutting down cities, man. They're shutting down multi million dollar um, events, businesses, all for the sake of this one virus, man. So Yeah, how about Shimao Shai is showing that he is the true, the only true and powerful um uh, uh uh power man you know 
time. You like a brother. Before they were sealed that have gathered faith for a treasure, then did I consider these things, and they all were made through me alone and through none other. By me also they shall be ended. Yeah, is it, so, hey, <laughs> so all the things that you see, first and foremost, like the point that I made, before any of the things that you see, any, anything that you can even fathom in your mind, be, before they existed, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai chose the nation of Israel. He chose the nation of Israel to rule in his kingdom. But read that last part again, Baba Kusha, that you read. By me also they shall be ended. By him also they shall be ended. So the th same things that Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai ordained from the beginning, the same things that he created, you know, this kingdom, you know, this nation of people that that um that are ruling over the over the earth according to the book of Job nine and twenty four, okay, the wicked, the criminals, Esau, Edom, this same kingdom that Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai allowed to to go on, he's gonna end it, you know, and we're gonna get into it, and by none other. And by none other, man. Hey, and, that, that, and another point that it brings is um, that's that's another reason why we stay so faithful to your Habashim Yahweh Shai because you look look at look at how powerful this nation of people is. You know, are they a base nation to us? Yes, they are a base nation to us. But your Habashim Yahweh Shai had made Esau Edom his sword, so they're set up in a position of of power, and nobody can stop that power except your Habashim Yahweh Shai. You know, as mighty as a people as we are through the spirit, we can't stop Esau Edom because everything has to be done through the will of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai and on his time. We can't do things according to our own time, man. If we do, we're going against the grain and Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, he could take us out like that, man. Okay. No issue, you know. So these same things that you see going on, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai said he's going to end it. Matter of fact, Baba Goshai, um, that second Ezra's, no, 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 it's like it. no, Let's continue this. It's like it. Then answered I and said, what shall be the parting asunder of the times? Yeah, he said, what shall be the parting asunder of the times? You know, go ahead. Or when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that follow it? Yeah, exactly. Go ahead. And he said unto me, from Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's hand held first the hill of Esau. Now, who was Jacob? Jacob is is the so-called Negroes, the so-called Latinos, and the so-called Native Americans that are walking the earth today. These are the same people. When you go back to the book of Genesis, as we're about to read, you know, I'm going to jump the gun, but, you know, we're still going to get into it. It says what? That Jacob held the hill of Esau, man. And he put, which was what? Symbolizing that we are going to be the ones to uh, to pull him down. Of course, through Yahweh Hashem was shy. You know, we're going to be the ones that rule after him. Because that's why Ezra's asked, he said, when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that followeth, man? You know, we are the people, we are the most highest people, man. The, yes, Esau Edom set up, but that, that time, his time of reigning is coming to an end, you know? And you see, and we see it happening before our eyes. You go ahead, brother. For Esau is the end of the world. He saw as the end of the world, and you have three different definitions of the uh, the word world, man. And in this in this case, it's talking about this age, okay. And I believe that uh, I believe the word, the Greek word, is um, eon, okay, which means a time period. And this is the time period that Esau is he's going down, man, okay. And we're going in in our time. <laughs> Baba Gusha, get um the book of Luke. The first chapter and the thirty third verse. You know, because this this kingdom, just like every other mighty kingdom before it, you know, the uh, the, the kingdom of the Greeks, the Romans, the old Babylon, you know, Egypt, all these kingdoms fell, man. You know, all these kingdoms fell one way or another because Yahabar Shimia was shy, he cut it short, man. You know? So yeah, we're gonna get into this because our kingdom as we're about to get into, man, it's going to be an everlasting kingdom. And it's going to be, it's going to be an order in the kingdom. All right. First, it's going to be Yahweh Shai. It's going to be King David. Okay. Uh, um, and then it's going to be the, the elect and, um, you know, on down, man. All right. There's going to be an order in the kingdom. Luke 1 33. Come. Luke chapter 1, verse 33. And he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom, there shall be no end. And of his kingdom, there shall be no end. 
And that's what the kingdom, uh, the, that this kingdom is going to be ruled by, um, by the Israelites. Matter of fact, so let's finish this second Ezra and then we're going to jump into Isaiah, the second chapter. Come on. It says, for Esau is the end of the world. And Jacob is the beginning of it that follows. Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. And as we just read in Luke 1 and 33, the kingdom is going to, the kingdom of, of, of Yahweh Shemel and Shai is going to reign forever, man. There's going to be no end. As it says in the book of Isaiah, it says there's no end of the king, no end of the kingdom that's to come. You know? The hand of man is betwixt the, is betwixt the hill and the hand. Other question, Ezra's ask thou not. Okay, so we're gonna get into that Isaiah chapter two. Start from the top, Bob Kasha. Okay. Isaiah chapter two, verse one. The word that Isaiah, the son of Amos, saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem. And this and and, and the reason why I want the <clears throat> so like it, the reason why I want the brother to get into this is it's just showing you how our kingdom is gonna be. Okay, our kingdom is not going to be like this. Slacky, like matter of fact, get that Proverbs uh, 29 first. Hold that and get that Proverbs 29 and verse 2. You know what I'm saying? Our kingdom that we're going to reign in is going to be completely different from the way that that these uh these Caucasians, Esau, Edom, according to the Bible, this is going to be way different from how he does it, man. You know, we're going to set the standard of how things should be done. There's going to be it's going to be a period of peace for the Israelites, man. As the scriptures say, there's not going to be war anymore. You know, our children are going to be able to, you know, they're going to be able to roam around without you having to worry about them being uh, uh, snatched up, without worrying about them being attacked by some random stray animal. All these different things that you have to worry about in Babylon is not, they're not going to be the same worries in the uh, the kingdom of heaven. So let's get that, Bob Gosha. Proverbs chapter 29, verse 2. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice, but when the wicked beareth rule, the people mourn. And that people is not only starting with the nation of Israel, but it's talking about all people. Because you look at the world, man. Look, look at the the homeless, the uh, the homeless percentage, man. Look at all these people that are um, that are living below the poverty line, man. You see, you just look and you got you got people standing on the corners panhandling. You you got you got people uh, robbing and killing each other just to to come up. The kingdom of heaven is not going to exist. That's that's not going to exist in the kingdom of heaven. Okay. Uh, uh, um, oh, so many scriptures coming to my mind. Give me that um, second Ezra. Um, hold this. Yeah, yeah, come on. Second Ezra, the eighth chapter, and I believe like around the fifty third verse. You know, and this is why, as as according to the book of Second Peter, the third chapter, this is why we hasten unto the day, to see that see these these heathens come down, man. See how they they they're destroying the earth. They're constantly coming up with new laws to destroy, uh, um, the people, namely the nation of Israel, because how Bashim Al Shai said that there would be a perpetual hatred between Amalek and uh and, and, and Jacob. Okay, so Esau Edom automatically has that. That hate for Jacob built in him, okay. But you know that's another, that's another topic for another day. We won't get into the scripture. Second Edgers ch chapter eight verse fifty three. Let me see. Uh, let's see. Start at fifty one. Okay. Second Edgers ch chapter eight verse fifty one. But understand thou for thyself, and seek out the glory for such as be like thee. You know, and this is this is what we look forward to, man. This is what's gonna make the whole earth run perfectly again. Everything's gonna be set back in order, as it says in the Book of Romans. That th uh, it's gonna be a time of restitution, okay, where everything's set back in order. You go ahead, bro. For unto you is paradise open, the tree of life is planted, the time to come is prepared. The time to come is prepared. You know, the the, the kingdom of the heaven, the time of peace is prepared. The time of judgment is about to happen to these. These um these evil doers in the earth, starting with Esau Edom, the elite of Esau Edom on down, to the nation of Israel. All right, all the all this that you see that's that's going against the granny of Hashem Al Shai, is about to be done with. Okay, it says paradise is open, man. You know, you go ahead, bro. Plenteousness is made ready. Plenteousness is made ready. We're not ever gonna want again, man. 
We're not going to want for anything. You know, Yahweh Shem Shai is going to provide us with everything that we will ever need, man. You know, not saying that he doesn't um, give us what we need while we're in this current captivity, but plenteousness is what? You got, you got more than enough. That's how the kingdom of heaven is going to be, man. You Come. know, and that's what we hasten into the day for. Come, that's when we truly going to be happy. Come, you know, and, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to say it, you know. A city is builded and rest is allowed. And rest is allowed, man. Yay, oh, perfect. It says, you know, like it says rest is allowed. Now, when you any any anybody in Babylon can concur. It's, I'm going to go with Israel. I'm not going to say anybody in Babylon. I'm going to go with Israel. Those that are the working class of Israel. Even even you know it, it don't even necessarily have to be uh, Jake Stutter in the truth. You hear like older older cats saying that they're, they're tired of working. You know, they're, they're tired of working. It's never time to rest. You always constantly, even you, they said you even don't rest when you die, man. You know, showing how much wickedness is in this, in this, uh, this, this, uh, place Babylon, man. You're constantly working. You're constantly got to do something. Or what? Esau Edom's going to slam, he's going to put, bring the hammer down on you, and you're going to be out on your ass, man. God. You know, in the kingdom of heaven, yes, there are, there are, the, the slaves are going to have to work, you know? Of course, the slaves are going to have to work, but they're going to have things are going to be fair. They're not going to have to get two or three jobs and get taxed just to take care of their family, man, or to make ends meet. You know, as in Babylon, you got to you got to constantly work, 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 work under a, a um, under a wicked, a, a wicked ruler, man. That's not rest, man. And you see Jake, Jake is in there enjoying this kingdom. Our kingdom is about to come. It's going to be a, a million times better than this, this, this hell hole, man. Why not seek something like that? Hey, it says what? In, uh, in um, the book of Romans. And during the, um, the pleasures of sin for a season, because it feels good. Now you're not thinking about the bigger picture. Wickedness feels good. Adultery feels good. Chasing a bag. Of uh, uh, fiat notes feels good, you Come know. On. All these things of the flesh feel good. Yes, they feel good. We know because we came from the same things. But there's a bigger picture, man. You know, what well, says they omit the weightier matters, and the weightier matters is getting to the kingdom of heaven, man. Establishing righteousness in the earth. That's those are the weightier matters, man. You go ahead, brother. Yeah, perfect goodness and wisdom. Perfect goodness and wisdom, man. So let's get into Isaiah 2. Isaiah chapter 2, ver oh, verse 1. Okay. The word that Isaiah, the son of Amos, saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem. And it shall come to pass in the last days that the mountain of the Lord, Yahweh's house, shall be established in the top of the mountains. Now, and what is that mountain, man? That mountain is a government, all right? A ruling class. Okay, you go ahead. It says that uh, read read that read that verse open from the, uh, from the beginning, verse two. And it shall come to pass in the last days that the mountain of the Lord Yahweh's house shall be established in the top of the mountains. And the Yahweh's house is who? The nation of Israel. Come. The Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. This is the Lord's inheritance. His only begotten, his his favorite flower, you know, so on and so forth. This is the mountain of the Lord. It says it shall be established. At the top of the mountains, which is talking about what? The government of these different heathen nations. Okay, we're going to be the ones. So I can I'm, I'm, let, let the scriptures talk. It shall be exalted above the hills and all nations, nations shall flow unto and it. All nations shall flow unto it. It shall, shall be exalted. You know, hey, you have these people in the world. They get upset uh, or they um, not get upset, but they they feel some type of way. About racism. They act like racism doesn't exist. Or they um they had the wrong perception of it. When you go into the word racist, it means to believe that your nation or your race of people is superior than another race. Which how about Shimmy Al Shai established that we are the um his favorite people, which is what? Racism. Discrimination, right? But for the right reasons. According to the book of uh, the, what we're reading, Isaiah, Isaiah, the second chapter, because we're going to bring forth that peace. We're going to bring forth that righteousness, man. We're going to we're going to do right by the people. 
judgment is going to be pushed forth and there is going to be a uh, chastisement for the heathen nations, man. But things are going to be fair. OK, you go ahead, bro. And, and many people shall go and say, come ye and let us go up to the mountain of, of the Lord, Yahweh. Hey, hey, that's the same way that our people here in Babylon, that's what they do. They go get license of the heathen, right? Come. They go get license of the heathen to do things after their own pleasures. That's what they did during the time of the Maccabees, man. You know, it says that, that the heathen gave them license. Uh, no, they uh, asked for license to do after the ordinances of the heathen. But the tables are going to turn, man. And these heathen nations and all these wicked nations are going to flow onto us to follow the ordinances of Yahweh Shai through us, man. You go ahead, bro. To the house of uh, of the of, of of the Most High of, of Jacob, Salakia, mm -hmm. and he will teach us it, teach us of his ways, and we will walk in his paths. For out of Zion shall go forth the law, mm -hmm. and the word of the Lord Yahweh from Jerusalem. So the word of Yahweh Shimei Shai is is forever, as it says in the Gospels. It says that um, heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. So the laws, the statutes, the commandments, all the things that Yahweh Shimei Shai ordained to be good. And, and, and for our um, the betterment of Israel or the betterment of the world, these things are going to be established. And this is what the people are going to run to. Why? Because we're being fair. All right. Esau Edom, he's not fair. That's why you have that's why our people that are that have some sense about themselves. They don't go to Esau Edom to get these vaccines. They don't run to the doctor every time they get sick. You know, they trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, whether it be of knowledge or not. They have knowledge of the um, some of the herbs that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai put on the herb, different tinctures that you can make to where you can avoid having to go to the enemy. You know, that's how the kingdom of heaven is going to be. Everybody's going to come to Israel uh, for the laws and different um, for all different types of righteous reasons because we're fair. You know, so, um, you know, that's that's pretty much what I want to get into, that this kingdom is going to fall and the kingdom that... Um, that, that we went into being the kingdom of Yahweh Shem Shai is on the way, man. The prophecies are showing forth. Matter of fact, one more scripture. The book of Matthew 24. And um, I want to say around the 21st verse. Matthew let, me, let me see. I'm, I might can pull it up here on the screen. So I can. So I, I think I, yeah, I think I found it. We're just, gonna, we're just gonna get on here for the con. Which the whole the, you look at the whole book of Matthew, the twenty fourth chapter. <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah. Um. And I lost my strength. I forgot what I wanted to get. Um. It's like I lost my train of thought in the midst. Is it twenty one? Uh, you know what? You know, you're just going to cut it off because I lost my train of thought. But, um, hey, you know, with that being said, Lord willing, this was an edifying video. May we continue to strive for this kingdom and and, and do the things that Yahweh Shem Al Shai asked us to do or told us to do in sincerity and in truth, man, with your whole heart. All right? Because judgment is about to cover this earth. And it, it, as it says in here in the book of Matthew, it's going to be a time like never before, man. So, hey, with that being said, we're going to say all praise, honor, glory unto Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham, Rakaq, Radash. Double honors once again unto the elders and apostles at Great Millstone. Peace, love, and salutations to the hopeful elect and unto the wheat amongst tares, which are you, um, you Israelites that look like these heathen nations wherewith we were scattered for our transgression. All right, with that being said, we're going to say Shalom. Shalom.